Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. So today I'm going to show you how to deal with this error that basically says um, can't install app. So this is a fix for the can't install app error code 504 or sometimes to say 505 in the Google Play Store. So as you can see here, um, it reads can't install app. Facebook can't be installed. Try again. And if problem continues, get help troubleshooting error code 504 or 505 sometimes all right so if you are um, encountering um, this um, issue on your Samsung Galaxy or any other Android device this is how you're gonna actually fix the issue now the issue usually happens in the Play Store as soon as you're downloading an app or maybe updating as soon as you see um, downloading you keep saying downloading and it will never actually download and then recreate the error it can happen with Facebook you can happen with any of the applications on your phone so if you're encountering this issue, today I'm going to show you what you can do to actually fix it and get your apps to install once again. So let's get straight into the fix. Alright, the first most obvious thing to do, since it's a Play Store error, is to go to Settings. Once you're in Settings, guys, as usual, go to Apps. Wait until they load. On all the device, you may have to go into Application or Application Manager and go into All and then Search, alright? So we're going to search for now the Google Play Store. So there, search um, alphabetically. Just go down to Google Play Store. There you go. And of course, once you're in here, you see Google Play Store, you're going to go to storage. Once in storage, you're going to clear cache and clear data. If it gives you, if the options become um, unselectable, simply just go back, go and then come back in and then clear. All right. So make sure you clear both. I don't want to do this right now. And as soon as you do that, you can go back again and actually reboot the phone. And once you reboot, just go into the Play Store and try to download the app. And of course, in some cases, the error will stop. If that doesn't work, go on to step two. All right. If that doesn't work, you're going to go back into settings again. You're going to go back to apps just as before. I'm just going to go into um, Google Play Store. And this time, on mine, I don't have the option, but you see in this area the option to uninstall updates. So let's go ahead and uninstall updates. And again, you can um, reboot your phone. Right. And once you reboot, just go ahead and as soon as you back up and try to go back into the Google Play Store, it will give you the option to update once you come back in, seeing that you uninstall all the updates. All right, so if it's not auto updating after that, you can actually um, go into the menu and go to settings, and of course, click on the Play Store version, and it will actually prompt the device to update if not updated. Mine is already updated to the latest version, all right? Or you could actually download a third party Play Store and actually prompt the update but make sure you download from a trusted um, source so that's another thing you can actually do and go back and try downloading apps once more all right if you have a sd card um, inserting um, just go ahead and um, remove it you can actually reboot and then um, remove the sd card and place it back in or to the easier way would be to go to settings device maintenance yours might be under settings storage mine is here so you go to storage once you're in storage guys uh, you're going to go to um, the context menu up here, storage settings, and of course, there you go. That's the option to eject the SD card. So you can actually eject and remount. Sometimes just by connecting and reconnecting the SD card, any errors that you're experiencing might just go away just by disconnecting and connecting again afresh. All right. And that should fix some other um, issues. All right, guys. Next, I wanted to just to boot into a recovery mode. So just power down the phone. Once the phone is powered down, those all um, power volume up for normal devices. For um, the Samsung Galaxy S8, you're going to hold the Bixby key as well. All right, you're going to hold until you see the first logo. And of course, as soon as you see the first logo, you can go ahead and let go after you see the screen right here. All right, guys, once you're in um, the recovery mode, just use volume up and down to navigate and power to select. Your first thing you're going to try, guys, is you're going to um, go down to wipe the cache partition all right so once you on wipe cache partition just select this option it should wipe and then you're going to reboot your um, phone with the option at the top so you can actually go back up um, you're going to go back into the system and actually try installing apps again if that fails you're going to back up your data and you come back in here and of course but you should only use this as a last resort what you can actually do is you're going to go to wipe and factory data reset be warned this will erase all data on your phone so you can go ahead and hit power here select yes and of course it will erase all right and of course after this you're going to reboot and you're going to set up your phone afresh but remember 
it's gonna wipe your um, system clean. Only use this as a last um, resort. Um, when finished, you can uh, reboot system now. All right, guys. Are some final thoughts? Um, if the app or you don't want to boot into recovery, you can't. You can always download the app from the Play Store, or you could actually just try to find the APK file for something like C Cleaner or um, Clean Master, and of course. And of course, you could um, wipe the um, cache, residual cache, or you could just use um, Android's built-in um, device maintenance. You could actually go in here, and of course, you go to storage, and of course, there are options here to um, clean um, now. And that's built into the phone, and that could actually help out the situation by clearing um, cache. Also, if the app was being updated, you can also go ahead and try to uninstall the app itself and then try reinstalling the app in the play store so guys that's how to fix the um, error code 504 or 505 where it says app cannot be downloaded on the um, samsung galaxy or other android device so regardless of until next time guys bye